It's been a long week. We have been going nonstop. As you can see, it's caught up to me. We are finishing papering the house on the outside. It's getting ready for stucco. Inside, we've got insulation going on. That's only gonna take a day or two, and then it's drywall time. So, with the insulation going in, we're not just doing it in the ceiling and in the floor, but we're doing it in all the interior walls. We're insulating with quiet rock instead of drywall. This is gonna stop anybody from hearing each other in another room, or if two people are sleeping, one gets up to use the restroom, you're not gonna hear anything through the walls because you've got quiet rock and you've got insulation. If you have a room in your home that maybe it's your TV room, maybe your bedroom borders your kid's bedroom, and it's just, you're constantly hearing everything. I say test it out in a room. You can rip out the drywall, insulate, put in quiet rock. It's a place to start transforming your own home and it's money well spent. You can already hear in this space, it's less echoey and we've just started to get the insulation up in the ceiling. Once this is closed up, especially with insulation going in, sheer rock being inside the house, there's no changing things without it being a really large pain in the ass. And so, you know, I brought my wife here. I went over the plants multiple times. I annoyingly bugged my electrician constantly. I questioned myself, questioned myself, questioned myself. And I think we got to a place where everything is looking really good. And, you know, at this point, if I miss something, something's not perfect, I can at least say like, I really did my due diligence. I know I talk at ad nauseum about electric, but it really is something if you think through, it makes your life so much easier. This is my personal home, so I know exactly what I want and how I want to have things arranged. So I'm standing in front of what's going to be the entertainment center built in. Now I designed this six months ago, so I knew how it's going to look. I've got cabinetry running all across the bottom, TV will be in the center. I have open shelving four feet on either end that goes up. I'm a pretty simple guy when it comes to my entertainment. I use an Apple TV, I use HomePods. So I've got electrical outlets placed for HomePods on my second shelf up so my kid can't reach them and I don't have to drop down cables afterwards. Even though I only use one HDMI because I just use an Apple TV, I'm running a second HDMI just in case in the future when my kid gets a little bit bigger, if he wants some other type of video game system, I've got it there. So all that tubing is already ran. And then if I need to change something out, if a cable goes bad, whatever it is, I can always just tie to the dead one, a new one, pull it through. So that's a really nice little perk of doing your own house. It also feels cooler in here already with the insulation in. Again, a reason I pitched this to just nine feet instead of going all the way up. I've got my HVAC running all the way through up there and I've got it insulated. Its house is gonna be so energy efficient, I can't wait. My biggest tip I have for you, you have a wife, a husband, a partner, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, whoever you're sharing the space with, get them in on that electrical meeting. Get your general contractor there, get your barista there, get your favorite target employee, get somebody else there to witness the conversation and the sign off so that way you are in trouble if something's up at the end. Saved me a lot of arguments. Walking through today, I know I made the right choice spending money in this area. And I would recommend anybody who's opened their walls to think about doing a little bit extra because in the long run, it pays off. Right now though, I think I'm just gonna go lay the down because I'm pretty tired.